Hi, this is Devin with Oops, I Tweeted Again. We're outside of the library here at Eastern Mennonite University. We've just come back from our behind-the-scenes tour with Kitty Capella at WHSV Newsroom Channel 3. We had a blast. We got to uh, experience the news in the local community firsthand. And look forward, after this video, this is just an introduction, we'll have a follow-up with Kitty's interview. Uh, we would like to say, though, that the camera died during the interview because the EMU equipment was not fully functional with proper batteries. So thank you <laughs> to the IT department or whoever is to blame for not putting batteries in there. I said my piece. Over to you, Leah. <laughs> yeah, like Devin said, it was an amazing experience just to go and go to Harrisonburg's um, news and to be in the moment where news is happening all the time. and. There was one incident, right when we were starting to tape, there was something that was real great and it, it was perfect because we just started taping and we actually got to sit in the news um, at 12 and actually see the things happening and get to see them interact. So that was really cool and I'm glad that we got to share that some of what we saw with you and it was a wonderful experience. So thanks for joining us and hopefully you'll read our blog. Okay, so my name is Kitty Capel. I am the web producer over Holy at... Holy crap! WHSV TV3. Ken Slack's reading 29 at the end of the month. What? Perfect. That's crazy. He's taking Marshall Barnhill's old job. Who is? Ken Slack. Okay, and this is a big deal because Ken Slack has been at NBC 29 for a really long time. Like, Elizabeth really just said time. she heard it directly from him. He told Breaking news right. inside the newsroom. <laughs> Ken Slack is leaving Augusta County. That's crazy. You heard it first here at Oops, I Tweeted Again. <laughs> See, these are the things you get. Um, but anyway, my name is Kitty Paul. I'm a web producer over at TV3 in Harrisonburg. Kitty, so what got you into the, uh, what, uh, the fascination with social media? What is, what is it about it that just attracts you to the field of social media? Twitter, Facebook, and so forth. Well, honestly, like, social media is where news is going. That is... You can't have one without the other right. anymore. Yeah, it's no, not yeah, it's an you. optional thing to have a fan page. Yeah. You have to have one. And if you don't, your viewers can't find you, and that's kind of a big deal. It looks like you're behind the curve. Um, and my thing was, you know, digital stuff is always changing. It needs a fresh mind, creative, and social media changes too. There's always something new happening. Like Pinterest came out of nowhere and changed oh, yeah. the way that we have parties. You can't like go to a party without something happening from Pinterest. Um, you know, Vine is just now on the market, and people are thinking that that's really going to change the way that we share video too. So it's just always changing, and it's always interesting, and that's really why I like it. Where do you see Twitter taking news in the future? Do you see traditional news? Um, like actual televised news fading to the giving away to Twitter, or do you see it combining together, working together to make a stronger news form, so to speak? I think that Twitter won't replace news, but I can already see how Twitter is enhancing news now. Um, we kind of, 